Onondaga County is hitting yet another grim milestone when it comes to COVID-19 cases. We're seeing the second highest daily spike Thursday with 98 people testing positive. The county executive Ryan McMahon now predicts this could get worse today when the new numbers come out. Julia LeBlanc joins us live now outside the On Center in downtown Syracuse. So Julia, right now, where are we with the infection rate locally? Well, Dan and Nicole, right now the infection rate here in Onondaga County sits at just over 2%. So County Executive Ryan McMahon says most of those cases are coming from community spread where the health department can't exactly track where the virus started. So that means the virus is here, it's in our community, and it's spreading around. So with 42 hospitalizations right now and five people in the ICU, we decided to bring in Dr. Thomas, the infectious disease expert at Upstate University Hospital. Dr. Thomas says just one one lapse in judgment here from individuals could put community members at risk. Now that means letting your guard down and not following the guidelines of mask wearing and social distancing. And while Dr. Thomas wouldn't say that the virus is getting out of control, he will say this. Now again, we're on an upward trajectory and um, all the information that I'm looking at uh, shows that we're actually going to have a worse uh, rebound than we did with the, you know, with the, with the very first uh, with the very first epidemic. So I think, you know, people need to believe that there is virus in central New York. There's even more than there was in the spring. Um, they have to believe that they are at risk uh, and they have to protect, you know, to make a decision to protect themselves and protect the people uh, that they love. Now, some good news here because we're always looking for that silver lining. Dr. Thomas says, as far as when it comes to the virus transmitting in schools and gyms, they're not seeing that as an issue right now. It's not transmitting as they thought that it was going to in the first place. He says that's because those are controlled environments with ventilation systems and lots of sanitizing. Live outside the On Center, Julia LeBlanc, News Channel 9.